this is a Martin UAV VBAT. It is a Group 2 uh, UAV that's deployable at a Group 1 level, and it utilizes a safe ducted fan that's mechanically simple, is exposed to uh, dangerous exposed rotors. VBAT is the culmination of 12 years of R&D, uh, a lot of hard work and a lot of money. Uh, but the system uh, was designed by a uh, team of Stanford scientists and a technical team that supports that staff. Uh, VBAT was designed with the end user in mind, at the tactical level, uh, creating a platform that gives mission versatility uh, without expanded infrastructure or expanded people requirement to support it uh, is really where VBAT is best positioned. Uh, VBAT is wholly unique. Uh, it's a complicated design uh, based on years of research, uh, similar to rocket guidance technology. Uh, but you won't find anything like VBAT anywhere in the world. So the uh, VBAT is ideally suited for uh, standard uh, tactical ISR operations on the uh, military side. It also is uh, uniquely suited for a wide range of commercial applications where safety and mechanical simplicity is of paramount importance. The, the payload capacity is uh, flexible. Uh, typically is a five pound payload, uh, although that can be extended if you're willing to reduce the endurance uh, requirements. Uh, so VBAT is uniquely designed also for shipborne applications. Uh, as you can see, uh, you have the airplane, but there is, uh, there is no supporting infrastructure required. Uh, so you eliminate catapult launches, nets, uh, recovery systems, uh, making it much easier to operate from uh, a ship. Yeah, so it's a fully autonomous system. Uh, it's a tail sitter, so it, it takes off uh, vertically, makes its transition to horizontal flight, which improves the efficiency, and uh, then it lands back from a hover. We have uh, recently uh, passed through the prototype stage, and we're now moving VBAT into the production stage. Um, we're accepting orders now for delivery uh, in early 2017. We have a number of U.S. military demonstrations scheduled over the next six months. Um, and we have a handful of commercial applications that we've been asked to source and we're evaluating those right now.